<laughs> I'm so glad these are still recording. She's Rouge. gonna gloss, honey. <laughs> Can I say? Put a little lip liner on. <laughs> if you're gonna go there, go there. <laughs> go there. Uh, like a little that. You know what I mean? Where do I contour? Where do I highlight? Why am I old? Why am I fat? Like it's like that <laughs> level of like. Because I could smell the yeah. cigarettes on your bracelet, and it shouldn't happen. Everyone yeah. rosewood, rosewood, rosewood. Should it be called flaccid rose? That's yeah. what I had. Ugh. Gotcha. <laughs> You're pushing it. You wanna fuck me? Oh no, I don't know if we can start like no, that. No, we're not. Not no, on just Stephanie's just... birthday. Oh, I'm keeping that in. No. Yeah. yeah, are you kidding me? Oh my God, we added a little pink. A little. God, I know, I know. <laughs> I wish I had these drapes when we were doing the Gaga episode because I would have worn this as my dress. <laughs> Isn't that the gag? Yeah, I know. That Literally. Would have been funny. You know what it was and what kind of inspired. Well, hi guys. Hi, <laughs> welcome How back. How you doing? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Beautiful and Bothered. What inspired it? I came across a video of our second set and I was like, wow, it was so pink. And so lovely. I want to bring more pink into things. Mm -hmm. So we got a little uh, table finally. Yes, <laughs> oh my God. To hold our, my buckets of wine. And my buckets of water. <laughs> yeah. So today we are, <laughs> <laughs> we are recapping the 2024 Academy Awards. What? Academy Awards. Academy Awards? I thought we were doing the Oscars. Guys. Read him to fill. <laughs> Read him, oh, tear him that's from the here same thing. up the back. Yeah, no, and down to the mouth. That's, yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I yeah. like to think the academy. Yeah, yes, got it. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, I don't know. It's Girl, so interesting just, that they call them. Why the, do they call them I know. The Oscars? Where do they get that from? Who was Oscar? So, Did he die? <laughs> so, as far as I know, it's the Academy Awards. And the statue is, is an, an Oscar. Oscar. Like you Who's win Oscar? an Oscar. I don't know. Oscar? Who's Oscar? The Grouch. I don't know. Oscar. Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in a yeah. trash can. <laughs> yeah. No, I you. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they did that. Like it were I, I should say I don't know why they call it the Oscars. When it's the when Academy Awards. It is the Academy Awards, yeah, but the statue was called the like, Oscars. Yeah. I know. Okay. Who knows? So we are recapping looks, a little makeup police mm -hmm. from the Academy Awards, but very quickly, okay. I feel like we have some uh, little points to hit. Okay. So A, Ariana Grande's album came out. We both kind of have the same opinion on it. I was saying I feel like it's one of those things that's going to grow on me the more I listen to it. Because it is sleepy. It's very uh, emotional. Yes. And if you're trying to tell me that like... This man is mine or whatever. <laughs> this man is my man. This man is your man. From California to New York Island. <laughs> to Bikini Bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was kind of <laughs> waiting for you to do it. Yeah. Um, honestly, yeah, Thanks like for that you're saying setup. this is my man. Like, yeah. bitch, you can keep him because he's I ugly. I know, girl. Um, the amount of people on TikTok that are like dancing to it and they're like dancing to it in the text overlays <laughs> until you remember who the man is. Like, yeah, like, I don't know, girl, who's trying to take him? I know. Oh, he was married. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that whole thing. Anyway, when they like, started dating. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. And there's she just about had a baby. Her. Yeah. The whole album, I just really don't. Um, I don't I'm mind it. I'm confused by the the direction, especially after yes and yes and yeah. And I this is where I said it to you the other day. I feel like this is her Joanne album. She perfect illusioned us. Yeah, because yeah. you're you're giving us the bop, <laughs> the Vogue. Yes. you know, love that. Yeah, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be like her Vogue era. <laughs> totally. If you will. Yes. And I was like, okay, because I wasn't expecting this. I know. I popped on that album. <laughs> And I said, yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 99. And yeah. I think I, oh, I left here uh -huh. and was driving. I had about like an, like 45 minute drive. So I said, perfect time to listen to it. Yeah. And I put it on and I said, <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep at the wheel. Oh. Yeah. No, what I saw, I'm being, yeah. I'm being silly. It's, I don't think it's sleepy, but it, it's a sadder album. It's, it's a, very it's, emotional um, and it's her yes. Joanne album. Uh, totally. Some songs are really growing on me. The one with the music video, We Can't Be Friends. Uh, yes. Uh, and yeah. that one is gaining pop. That, I'm going to say that song is gaining popularity. I don't know about the whole album, mm -hmm. but. I'm also going to say that that song is gaining popularity because it sounds like 
Dancing on My Own by Robin. So that was, you know, that's that. But the other songs, I just feel like I have to really, you have to be in the headspace to listen to that slowness. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it'll grow grow on me. And like, I feel a, like it's after an a couple, emotional album. But yeah, like I, I'll give it time. But again, it's not that I don't like it. It's just not what I was expecting, especially because the lead single is a very dancey track. So yes, eh, but yeah. It's okay. I like it. Okay. The story you've wanted to tell on this podcast for four weeks and continue to forget to, what happened to you at Ulta? So I'm going to say, and I want to preface this too, yeah. because the the nature of everything was a little That person odd. doesn't listen to the pod. No. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm going to preface this that it was very uncomfortable, but I'm not, and I'll just get right into this. So mm-hmm. I was in an Ulta, as you know, I freelance for brands. So I go into Ulta's, I go into Sephora's where, uh, even some of you have seen me. So, hello. which also, this is your first live evidence that my Sephora skits are based on reality. Yeah. This is what happened to us all the time. Yeah. And, um, I'm walking by, I'm in an Ulta and I'm walking by to go get something. Mm-hmm. And I see this person looking kind of confused in one of the aisles. Now, mind you, I didn't work for this brand that day. Yeah. I just happened to see somebody, a confused person in a store that I'm, like, helping out at, essentially. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, let me make sure she needs, if she needs help, let me ask. Yeah. So she's by um, a makeup brand, like a, the drugstore makeup. Yeah. And I like pop in the eye. I'm like, hi, do you have a question? And she did was like- Did you have a full beat on? I did. Okay. I had a full beat on. I had uh, my pink denim jacket on and black jeans, black shirt, you know, very like- Breasts out. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. <laughs> um, And I go up to her and I was like, do you have a question? And she kind of looks at me with like this like mild mm. face. And she was like, yeah, I'm just like, I, I don't know. I'm lost. So I'm like, Okay looking for green eyeliner and i was like okay well that nyx has a few options i said let's check them out she's overwhelmed by the amount of choices and it's your fault and it's my <laughs> fault and then she's looking she goes oh too blue too blue and then looks up from the eyeliners in the eye <gasps> and goes unprovoked unprovoked <laughs> <laughs> it's really great that they would hire someone like you and i i cocked my head back a little bit and i said what does that mean yeah. and i said a i don't work here Yes. I said, B, I'm one of the brand ambassadors. And see, what does that mean? Yeah. And do you need help? Yeah. And then she goes, well, you know, someone like you, I have a trans son, I, daughter. Uh, I was like, okay. Yeah. I was like, that's <laughs> amazing. I was yeah. like, you sound confused about yeah. that. And like rolled her eyes when she like corrected herself. Yeah. And was like, so when did you get like top surgery? And I said, what are you talking about? She's like, well, you just like look so much like a man so she's like when did you like transition to become a man i said because i had facial hair like fully like yeah now, like i'm like girl i need to shave yeah but like i had enough facial hair where she was like yeah like when did you get top surgery like she went like this like clean off and then she's like did you get bottom surgery too at the same time and i was like what and i'm looking around as if i'm being punked and if someone heard it because I then was just like, I know. No, I'm like, I identify as a gay male. Yeah. I was born a man, am a man, and I identify as a gay man. Like, yeah. I'm just, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, do you need help Would you with help the green with eyeliners? eyeliners? <laughs> yeah. And I switched it back. I was like, so do you need help with the green eyeliner? She goes, yeah, like, I don't know. My, my daughter would be just so mad at me right now if I was asking you the, like these questions and i was like well it's a little personal it's a little inappropriate with eyeliner and then kept going on and i was like there i I guess this person needed somebody to talk to but the approach was just so inappropriate i was like because it's not that it offended me that she thought i was trans it's more so the way she asked asked me exactly you you approach it in such a way where i'm like it was aggressive what if what if what if I was? What yes. if I was transitioning and I was I was scared because I was like, is someone gonna clock me? Is someone absolutely and I'm working in a makeup store where I feel safe. And yes. you approach me in such a way where it was accusatory almost. Absolutely. And I became not defensive, but like I was shocked because I just said, Do you have questions with green eyeliner? Let yes. me help you. And then you all of a sudden I'm like, you flip the script and you have to say that you have a trans child. Mm-hmm. And you would think you would be more sympathetic. But did you just find out this morning? Because you seem confused and angry about I it. I know, exactly. I was so caught off guard. And then of course there was nobody around me to hear this, but somebody that works there that I'm very close with, I went up to them after and I was like, I just had like the most odd exchange I think I've <laughs> yeah. ever had. Yeah. And I was like, I'm bothered in a way where they just seem like 
oh, I said nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. And I told them, and they were like, did they really? Like, oh, you should have told me. I would have yeah. like, told them they need to. And I was like, no, I can handle my own shit. Exactly. But I'm like, is this how people approach this topic now with such uh, ease and like... Not even ease, but tactlessness. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. more what it was. And there's so yeah. many layers to this because it's like, A, it's overwhelming in the moment to have to like rebuttal to that because that's the life of being like an LGBTQ person is, is yes. you're just living your day. You're excited to get Panera on your brain. And then all of a sudden, I did. <laughs> yes. And then all of a sudden, that just comes up. Yeah. It is a daily occurrence to have to to encounter yeah. ignorance of that caliber. Yeah. B, if you had told the manager, and let's say the manager was thought they were doing the right thing by asking the woman to leave, you're now tainting that woman's experience of LGBT people because not only amidst you getting insulted, how you handle it, not to everybody, but Obviously, this woman who would ask Mm -hmm. this type of question in that manner, if you handled yourself poorly, she's going to put all LGBT people in a bucket because she's already doing it to her child, talking about it. Go to therapy or read a book. You have the Internet in your phone. Google dealing with a child that's transitioning and how to be empathetic, sympathetic, intelligent, insightful and intentional. And it always makes me laugh. This woman, this type of woman, could you imagine if someone went up to her and did that in that manner and asked those questions, to when her. did you transition? It would be a viral Karen yeah. storming out of the store, screaming, how <laughs> dare you, how dare you? But yeah. she's allowed to vomit that up at you, anything that comes to her head. And, and if she is concerned about her child or confused and whatever and sees someone like you and maybe wants to ask a question, say – Anything else? Start it with. I have a question. A personal I have a, question. a personal question. If you're comfortable with yeah. it, may I ask you? Or ask me if I'm transitioning. Not how ask you identify me when I got the surgery. <laughs> when did you get top surgery? Yeah. Ask how do you identify? Maybe like, and then you, you let that person respond. But that's yeah. what I mean. It says because it all goes back to that entitlement. Yeah. Even if we weren't getting things like that, homophobia or LGBT things yeah. coming our way like that. In this world of Sephora, Ulta, working cosmetics, I don't know what it is. Anybody, even if you work Mm -hmm. at a counter, and I'm sure other people in customer service deal with it. The entitlement. I I have a question that's about your genitals. I'm just going to ask you because fuck you. you, You're not going to be. You work here, so you must be an open book. That's what I mean. I'm not safari web browser where you could type in anything and ask me a question yeah literally like i what do you think this is i don't know what it is about working in the beauty industry that people think that we're so transparent all the time and you get to just cross boundaries with me i know and especially with retail workers in general or anything when there's like that level of i'm gonna call it like intimacy when you're getting to know somebody because sometimes it's like it's a very sore subject for people to like do makeup and it makes them feel insecure and whatever that they open up to us sometimes yes but then there's a thing where I don't need to open up to you. Okay, but that relationship needs to be established earned. and earned <laughs> in that moment. I don't think in all my years I have ever <laughs> Ever mm-hmm. opened up to somebody, a client, mm-hmm. while working at Sephora. I, I mean, how many times did we do people's makeup and I know. we get the whole story? And I yes. was just like, oh my God, I'm just trying to blend and I'm getting too much, the, an uncomfortable amount of information that yes. I. There are details that I shouldn't know, and now I feel responsible knowing them. I know. Because you're letting me know information that, like... (laughs) I didn't ask for. I didn't ask for, and now I feel like I need to call the authorities. (laughs) Absolutely, girl. Um, Because tell me where you hid the body. And it's such a thing, you're right, in beauty. Because when I went to cosmetology school, there's chapters of cosmetology school basically learning and preparing to be people's therapist. Because people do it to their hairstylist as well. And it's a whole section in cosmetology school of like how to respond, how to be empathetic, how to I think hairstylists set get boundaries. It worse. Yes, especially because it's recurring. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Like they go you, to the you same build person. A relationship yes. more with a hairstylist that you trust them. Yeah, and I think that's what it is. What chaps my ass about it is it's that misconception and ignorant point of view that gay people who wear makeup or trans people are doing it for attention. And that's almost programmed so deep in people because it's been brainwashed on the media now more than ever, et cetera, that people like that that aren't inquisitive enough or empathetic enough to figure that if that out, if that's true, which is a pretty simple, uh, you know, thing to figure out, especially when you have an LGBT child yourself, I would hope they have that program somewhere deep in them that they go, oh, 
the, a clown just walked up to me so I can ask them. They're, they look like this because they must be okay with me asking them things like this. Yeah. Because look look how they dress. Present. Look yeah. how they present themselves so nothing is off limits. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? And that's I think that's what bothered me the most about It's the about same it. argument as like women who go out, women who go out dressed a certain way deserve are asking to get sexually assaulted. Yeah. It's the same mentality. Oh, you dress like that so you deserve this. <laughs> yeah, Whatever no, how about I'm you about raise to... men better? How about yeah. men be better and learn that even if a woman is in nothing but a bra and panties, unless there's consent, no means no. You're not Correct. an animal. Yeah. Go hump a pillow and call it a day. I know, and that's I think it's so the part that bothered me wasn't even it wasn't even about me. No. It was about what if this happened to somebody else? Oh god, I know. That maybe wasn't mentally prepared for that. Like our entire elementary and high school experience. <laughs> you <laughs> that's what going yeah, that's what yeah. being an LGBT kid I child have, is. I have grown to now not to know not to take offense to this, yes. but I used to. Yes. Imagine if this was somebody else. So I don't know. I just like if you have questions I don't know. There's a way to ask like pronouns. What are your preferred pronouns? People have asked me that all the time. That does not offend me. Yes. Because I'm like, oh, I appreciate. And I always say, I appreciate you asking Uh because while I'm not offended, some people, if you go into this and you don't like, if you're just like throwing it out and you might say something, ask, just ask pronouns. And that's a great way to open up the conversation. If they're not comfortable, you know, sharing that specific person will let you know. Yes how comfortable they are talking about themselves <gasps> at yes. work. I know. Or wherever it might be. Welcome back, everybody. We are going to start diving into these uh, Oscars <laughs> look lurks. And as always, before we start our Make a Police episode, we're going to give our disclaimer. <laughs> Johnny and Kevin, LLC, are in no way, shape, and form critiquing the attractiveness, physical appearance, height, weight, face, DNA of the celebrities we are critiquing. We are critiquing the application of the cosmeceuticals by the cosmetologist, the hair done by the hairstylist. The exact same look could be on a mannequin, and we are judging it the same way. It has yeah. nothing to do with the person underneath. First up, we have have Ariana Grande, which we need to mention we're giving Glinda an alphabet today. Yeah. <laughs> In this set, nonetheless, unintentional. unintentional. Uh, we just, I started doing green and I like look up at you and you're doing pink. I know. Yeah. Okay. So we've missed Ariana Grande. Mm-hmm. I did actually include the dresses this time. Um, mm-hmm. Someone said online and I can't unsee it. They said, when you go down to the fridge in the middle of the night with your comforter around your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, or, you know, your comforter around the thing. People are kind of, I don't know, people are kind of dragging it because of the poofy. What I don't, I, I like, like it. it. Me too. I don't know. I, I like this dress. I dig it. Yeah. And I like that she's kind of, um, this is almost like the press tour for um Oh God, Oz. girl, we're going to get, and, and not till Christmas of next year. Christmas. Christmas. Wait, I th- no, it's this year. Of Christmas. No. This year. Not 2025, girl. This coming... The year we're in right now is 2024. Yeah. There is a Christmas still that needs to happen in 2024. Yeah, you're saying next Christmas, not this Christmas. You said next Christmas. The next Christmas, I guess I meant. Of 2020. The next... (laughs) No, the the next Christmas to come up. Ah. On the calendar. Gotcha. <laughs> I was trying to hold the bitchy. Yeah. I'm not trying to be a bitch. You're pushing it. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> no. Yes. So we're gonna get that for the next fucking nine months. Everything she does oh, is gonna be pink. Okay. Her and Cynthia Revo, but pink I, and green. Can I say something? Oh, we're gonna talk about it. Can I say something? We're moving please? on to the hair and makeup here. <sighs> So I have an unpopular opinion. I don't think anybody's going to agree with me. I am. <laughs> okay. Because, uh, yeah, I feel like we've talked about this yeah. a lot. I just think this blonde hair, blonde brow, especially because it's in Wicked. Yes. That she has this look. And I feel like that's what that was originally for. Being yeah. Blonde, of course. I just think this washes her out because especially with the makeup choices that she's had lately. The every plain. time. It's yeah. so plain. She looks washed out with the blonde brows and the blonde hair. It just, it's so off on her. And it's the wrong shade of blonde. Wrong shade of blonde. Cause it's like this honey blonde. Yes. It just, it does nothing for her. And I feel I like know. she looks so washed out. Washed out. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like as a hairstylist, like I would never <laughs> let her leave with this color because the problem is, is that like, 
Ariane is finally um, embracing her birth skin color. You know, we're getting back to her birth skin color. We're not yeah. we're not 90 shades darker anymore. That's lovely. Her skin is beautiful. But yeah. the problem is, is that the blonde is the exact same color as her skin. So yes. it looks just. It looks like she has bleached brows sometimes yeah. when they're not filled in. And then because her eyes it needs are such low a lights rich, or highlights. Yeah. She has like such rich, dark brown eyes. Yeah. And then with the dark lashes, it's like you, there needs to be something else to balance out. Like the eye makeup needs to yes. be more balanced because these heavy lashes on yeah. her all the time with minimal eye makeup and then a minimal lip and a minimal complexion. Yeah. It just looks her eyes stand out. In sometimes the worst way I yeah. hate to be like that. No, I know what you mean. And this is nothing against her or whatever, but it's the makeup artistry level needs to be bumped up like yes. 10 notches. Yeah. And you're going to have such like heavy jewelry and this beautiful hairstyle. Mm -hmm. But then if we're going to be this blonde, I need you to put more makeup on. It needs low lights or highlights. Yeah. Like, And listen, like I do both of our blonde, which we just <laughs> both touched up. I don't profess to be the king of blonde or blonde toning, but I'm also not Ariana Grande with access to probably like the most talented hairstylist in the no. world. I hope not. It better not be. It doesn't look like it because of the way the hair slicked mm. back. And you can see like the, the brown. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm just saying over by like her temple, it almost looks a little too, uh, wiggy. Yeah. But maybe that's just her natural hairline. It's just the color, man. It's too close to her skin too, tone yeah. and it's washing her out. Yes, and I agree with you. I think the makeup is done well, but it mm. just doesn't fit the it needs to be occasion. Up. Yeah. The, exactly. I think it's as minimal as you can go for the occasion, mm -hmm. but it just needs to be oomphed up slightly. Agreed. Like, e even, girl, give me a little more blush or something. I need, anything. And, girl, you just came out with blushes. Blush, I know. And because then, I will say the lipstick, I think, is perfect for that dress. Like, that's oh, stunning. Oh, I agree. I love but that. Just, but give me a oh, little more pink blush. I know. Imagine just a little more blush. And a little more eyeshadow. Yes, even that baby, cut, that, that pink. She looks very pretty, but it's just that, like, honey blonde. I know. Honey, that, those bangs look broken. <laughs> A gel. <laughs> yeah. Slick, yeah. slick back. The the hair in the back, it looks like boiled spaghetti that's like limp. And it was just plopped on I like a bun. I wish it was higher up on her. Yeah. It's a very interesting. I, I To be honest, I don't think I've really ever seen a hairstyle like that. That's yeah. like just coming to a bun and then everything's like dripping yeah. off of it. But again, uh, the biggest problem, honestly, yes, in this era, I think is just this hair color, man. It needs yeah. highlights or low lights. I gotta go one way or the other. 100%. Yeah, I need to lose the honey tone. Yeah. All right, next up, Miss Billie Eilish, two-time Academy Award winner. Oh my God. The past couple award shows, like she's mm -hmm. been dressing not, you know, it's not ball gowny, it's not gowny. Like it, it's yeah. like, and this is my favorite look from all the past award shows she's done. I agree. Because it is very Barbie-esque, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, first off, before we dive into this makeup, that performance? The performance was everything. And I'm not even like a big, I don't listen to a lot of Billie Eilish music. That performance was unbelievable. It was honestly stunning because I was waiting for the opportunity for <sighs> her to perform What Was I Made For live. Yes. Because that song, Which, hearing yeah. that in the end of the Barbie movie, of like that whole scene when she was like telling her to like, you know, you just got to feel. Yes. And, I, and just like that song, the way she sings it. I know. So fragile. And yeah. And from a singing oh. point of view, like- that is so hard to sing like that in that con all head voice and falsetto where it could crack at any moment. Like, and the control, like you even saw right in the beginning, she started to do it and she could tell like, okay, she put her hands on her stomach and she was like, I got to try to support as much as possible because it was so, when did it end? it's so fragile hold, in a place, it live. girl. And it was flawless. It was so beautiful. And uh, you're right. She, I just think it deserved uh, it so much, like, to win. It was so perfectly made yeah. for that film. So was I'm Just Ken. <laughs> I know. Robbed. <laughs> God. Margot robbed. Um, it, yes. I'm Just Ken. Yeah. yeah. He he did his best for what uh, yeah. what he had to do. But, um, okay, so this makeup. Um, yeah. The lip. Is okay, the problem. Even so on live television, I was, I was. I Yeah, I will say 
for her not wearing a lot of makeup all the time, and mm-hmm. I know that like for a fact she doesn't really love it. I gotta say something: the texture and volume in her hair right now, I love that. Agreed. Um, the lip, I would just yeah, slightly just like deeper, cooler tone liner on yeah, her. Yeah, she not as loves warm. a honey warm. Even yeah. if it doesn't go with anything else on the look, oh, I've noticed yeah. that the past couple award shows, it's this exact same lip liner. Yeah, it's like a a. Mah- like a warm orange nude yeah only around the lip lip lines and then yeah. just like a clear, clear. gloss and we know <laughs> j-lo <laughs> that gloss is making that lip liner run for the hills girl yes. like yeah i know and i will say the rest of the makeup for me honestly for billy i Great. love because i love the under eye saturation of that warm yes. especially the contrast with her blue eyes yes and i love that they always go the way they do her top shadow always looks so clean to balance out because they're kind of embracing the big fluffy brows yeah. which again that's what i mean and we always kind of talk about that with makeup it's it's all about proportions yeah. like if you're going to do a bold lip like go softer on the eyes if you're going to do yeah. a bold eye go softer on the lip if you're going to do bold brows you got to that bold you got to go softer someplace yeah. else and it's really nice that they just did the minimal to the lips and the eyes and then the brows and the blush to me is what yeah. is the star of the show love that the freckles are peeking through me too foundation yeah. is flawless and yeah, and the only thing, I mean, she looks so beautiful in this makeup. I feel like this makeup is so challenging to pull off. Yes. Uh, and she really, she pulls it off beautifully. I will say, yeah, the only thing I would like to change a little bit is the lip liner. Yeah. And everything else I'm totally down for. I love it. She looks, this makeup is beautiful. You also know how hard it is to pull off this makeup with black hair. Black hair and a black and white outfit. Girl, where the Wednesday only- Adams. But then the face is so she- warm. The whole thing that she does not smile on the red carpet <laughs> I know. and the emotion behind it's just yeah. like this like blank stare of like, yeah, you cannot sit here uh, yeah, Don't yeah. come to this lunch table and sit down. <laughs> yeah. I just I love her. I totally. think she oh my god, I'm obsessed with her. Yeah. I think I she would, looks so, so, so good. I would have just changed up the lip. Yeah. All right. We next up we have Ms. Charlize Throne. Have you ever seen Monster? No. Oh, what she won her Oscar for, playing Eileen Warnos, the serial killer. The prosthetics and everything they did on her to make her look the way she looks, you are, it was unrecognizable. Casey, I, I showed him the other day, like the trailer, and he really wants to watch it. And I was like, I don't know if I can watch it again. If you've ever seen Monster, Mama. <gasps> Girl. I have seen the clips <laughs> from this. Girl, that's, Char- that's Charlize Theron, Academy Award winner. For a reason, she was unbelievable in that. Okay, the dress, it's nice uh i mean the dress is pretty it's I pretty like it enough i'm seeing a lot of this trend where it just looks like we're rolling up fabric like the tie and across here like we're just we're we're like a wet like a wet towel in the locker room yeah. that we're gonna yeah. slap to somebody i don't love that that design yeah because i don't know there's something even about the other choices for it like it almost like where it comes across the center it almost looks like a napkin roll at like a restaurant like a, a roll up <sighs> that's what i mean yeah, yeah so it almost looks like we rolled up silver this twisty and thing then we just like <laughs> left it on her yes. chest, like a full restaurant. Yeah, roll-up. the jewelry too. And then the ju- I know. Girl. I just the jewelry is making a lot of statements. That <laughs> they're all saying yes. something, and I can't tell what do the I. The jewelry to me is barking, <laughs> and I'm and the dress is whispering. Yeah, I would maybe only get rid of the bottom necklace. I like the choker, like, but, but the, it's I also just... think that these earrings are elongating her, like, yeah, everything more. Which I'm not mad at, but then we have. That elongating, and then we have this truncating off <laughs> yeah. the neck twice. Yeah. Get rid of the necklaces and yeah. maybe put something that comes down more. Yes. Makeup wise, I I think again. I think we have a little bit of a trend alert. Safe. Yeah. So everyone is so safe. All the makeup artists were like afraid to do anything. Yeah. I think that there's uh, at least a subtle peach pink lip, which I appreciate with this softer blush, but I need the blush or the lip to be amped up. Yeah. One of them. And if, if one of them was more amped up, it would bring out her eye color more. I do think that the shadow choices of this soft, warm, and Mm -hmm. then barely anything with these full full lashes the full lashes looks beautiful yes i don't even necessarily need more saturation in the eyeshadow as much as i would love it i would i would have loved to see especially 
because the dress is such that muted satin like yeah pink color bump up this lip or bump up the blush the blush yeah i agree with you because i just, and rare <laughs> this rarely happens sadly but i think the lip blush and eyeshadow tones are perfect for each other. Yeah. A I lot agree. of times we always get uh, uh, an offense of like a cool tone lip with a warm tone blush, a neutral eye, like eyeshadow, yeah, etc. Peach lip, pink <sighs> blush, and then gray eyeshadow. eyeshadow. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so, I'm like, Ugh. yeah, it all really works. And I have to say, like yeah. looking at her skin, the Everything brows looks, yeah. are the brows exquisite. Are amazing. We have a primed lid. The lashes, the liner, yeah. And I think even for, like, her age, the makeup is done so well where it's so mm -hmm. clean. It's not aging her at all. Yeah. It really is making her look beautiful. But, yes, I agree with you. It just I need, yeah, just a little bit more color, like, yeah. somewhere. Just to... to just something. Yeah, a little bit of something, something. All righty, we have Ms. Cynthia Arrivo. So, the uh, the Elphaba to Ariana's Glenda. Yes. Um and I love, too, that we're pulling in, like, more teals green. Yes. So almost again. Yeah. Oh, when they walked out, because they presented together. Oh, so it definitely nice. was coordinated. Yeah, of, I actually of, did not watch the Oscars. Yeah. I don't really watch award shows. Yes. And I just, I don't know. I feel like I need to start getting back into it, because I just do not. Yeah. I don't like to partake. Casey and I love award shows. I yeah. I gotta do but it. But I did show you all the good, all, all the, the highlights, good, yes. the clips. Yeah. yeah. This dress, good or bad? I like it. I don't. So I'm into this because yeah. a, I think maybe because I'm starving for something different on the red carpet, yeah. color wise, texture. I like this. You know what? And I will say this: I feel like watching the awards, it did read nicer on video, yeah, on stage than like it is it. in this photo because actually it's looking a little like dull in this photo, mm -hmm. and I think the way the patent leather or leather, I'm sure it's patent leather, you know. Or Peta would have been there with <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god, paint down Red with the paint. wicked witch. Yeah. yeah. Um <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. yeah. What well, so the, <laughs> but the whatever that material is, I should say, is kind of the reflection of the camera is I feel like it was a little richer and deeper mm. in like when you see it on video. Um, but yeah, you're right, because it did look really well. And I also love Mama that she rocks this bald head. Yeah. And she always has her statement earrings and the makeup is beat. Like, I just love that she always embraces the shaved head. It's just, ugh. I love the earrings, love the dress. The lashes I love, too. Love what the I, lip. I, okay, so I would actually say I would love to see a little bit more definition in the lip liner. Okay. And a little more definition in the lip. And I would, uh, I'm just going to yep. rattle off. I would love to see a little more purposeful glow. Rather than it looks like this makeup was Shine. not properly set. Yes. And then I would love to see a little tie-in of the color of the dress. See, that is so interesting because I think you're almost about to make my point. I think her lower lash line is a deep green. Is it? Oh, okay. See, it it, it is on that lower lash line. Yeah. It is that deep, dark emerald green. Okay. But I think the issue here is that with how rich her skin tone is, mm -hmm. that dark deep is not reading you that have deep to go dark a green. brighter exactly you either have to yeah. go brighter or i was gonna say even if you do want to embrace this emerald dark green give me a little shimmer yeah. because with the light reflection of, of it it would have caught the green yeah. more than just doing a green matte on the lower lash line it's reading darker than it is and that's a thing too a lot of people don't realize is when you have deeper skin going a little bit lighter is going to color theory. It's like lipsticks. If we all have the same color lipstick and I put it on fair, light, medium, deep, and dark skin, it's going to look completely different. Yeah. So just kind of taking, clearly we took like what I have in my waterline, <laughs> the Natasha Denona, the green uh, eyeliner in that yeah. emerald and putting it on her skin, it is not reading green. And I would have loved, even if we did a little bit of a green shimmer in that emerald, it just would have caught the light and it would have been a little more yeah. dazzling. I love the ombre of the lip, but I wouldn't have hated a gloss with a little bit of a, yeah, a more defined reflect. lip liner. Yeah, a little reflection in the gloss. Too, exactly. With a shimmer. And it just it because, hit me. yeah. Do you know what else is missing about this makeup that I just realized? And maybe I'm with the shine that it's drawing so much focus? Brows. No brows. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, she does no brows, which I love. I love that. I know. Is that is she badass? I know. I really think that is so because I I don't know. I, I think that's maybe why my eyes went to 
the reflection on the forehead where it's the you know, light is bouncing back mm-hmm. that I was like, oh, I wish they mattified. But then again, if they mattified that area too much and it, it was just flat, it would almost look more off-putting. Yes. The fact that it does reflect the light, it almost frames her face with the light reflection, mm-hmm. almost like a brow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't hate that. You know what I feel like I would tweak? To me, correct me if I'm wrong, that the blush is definitely a orangey coral. But not enough of it to uh, look like something. To be honest with you, with this green, and I think with how beautiful her lips are, I would have gone more pink. Like, give me Acai Sky by House yeah, Labs. Like a like, rich That's what I'm saying. Berry. Like, give me a berry, like blush. Berries or pinks. Yeah, yeah to like, bring in because I just, I don't know, the orange blush, orange and green, I don't know. The, pink and green. Well, or, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so like orange, green, purple are all secondary colors. Yeah. So when they're all together, sometimes it could feel a little weird. Now, I'm not against that either if you're doing green and then orange blush. Yeah. I don't hate that either. I, I think that can almost work sometimes. But but I think, again, how much we left her natural lip. It looks Free, a little... It's so pink yeah. that it's making me want pink in the complexion. Yeah. I would have did an emerald shimmer somewhere to catch the light and reflect. Agreed. Even if we did like a green that like an emerald green shimmer and did it in her inner corners Mm -hmm. just a touch like a of that on the inner corners um, even if we kept the emerald underneath from abbott elementary when she did she tied in the that chartreuse color into her makeup janelle james yes yes i know exactly so that kind of similar tie in the dress color with a little bit more of a purposeful place yeah green yeah Next up, we have Divine Joy Randolph won the Academy Award. She won Best Supporting Actress Love for and her speech was so great, like girl, unbelievable. I was trying to be somebody, like I wanted to be somebody's. I'm forgetting. I, how I wanted she said to be. It. I wanted to be different, but yeah. I realized when I started being myself, that's when the opportunities like started yeah. opening up and the world opened yeah, up in like, a way. Yeah, so beautiful. And, and um, um, this is how you do blonde. <laughs> exactly. Yes, girl. It's just. You this know when they the, say yeah. dishwater blonde? Yeah. That's what Ariana, it's just dull. Dull. It's not, that's what I mean. Because even even with so her, look at the, nice. the pieces framing her face have yeah. highlights and dimension. And there's oh, just, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so she won Best Supporting Actress for The Holdovers. So good. Uh, that is like, I love that movie so, so much. Yeah. I highly recommend The Holdovers. Um, this really was her award to lose because she's been winning every single one. The dress, love. I love it. Love, love, love. I love. I love the color and the textures. Yeah. The sequins on the body with the I don't even know what that is. It looks like shredded sh- chiffon. <laughs> I almost want to call it like jellyfish tentacles. Yeah, and then with the <laughs> with the like the train the of, train of it. Just the textures yeah. are working very beautiful together. Yeah, and this makeup, girl. I love the lip. I love the lip combo. The wing liner, the lashes, the brows are sculpted. I would have liked to see a little bit more blush. Yes. Uh, A little more blush. The sculpting, highlighting, everything, fine. But I would like to see a little more more blush on her. I think the blush, she could definitely, especially with that. Okay, this color dress, give me a peach blush. Preach. Because the peachy warm in the lip with that soft blue, imagine like, pomelo peach on her i know just, oh, <laughs> i know God. girl yes and because she has some warmth in the cheek but yeah give me more of that like that peach blush i know because that's also the thing too and let me tell you <laughs> if you have a good makeup artist if you're ever like getting your makeup done again i always used to tell girls like if the, un- unless they were like haven't had an aversion to blush which I don't know her, but um, I would always say, I'm like, like this, let this speak volumes, blush, don't ask me why, is the first thing to go. <laughs> it is the first mm-hmm. thing to fade when you're doing it on the skin. It, it really, it's, I don't know. Even when I'm doing makeup on myself or a client, mm-hmm. I will always go back at the end and look at the makeup and I'm like, I need to add a always, little more blush. And always. I take my blush brush, no extra product, and just tap over and reinforce whatever's left on the brush. Yes. I don't dip back into the blush, but no. I, I always used to, reinforce, unless yeah. they were like afraid, I would always make my co- clients leave with more blush than I wanted on them. Just a notch 
because I knew by the time in an hour in an hour girl it was gonna fade down to what I wanted it to because it's always the first to go so when yeah. you put as much on as you want the final product to be and then forget taking photos exactly where? nine times out of ten it's <laughs> gonna look like you barely have any on yeah yeah but no and let me tell you as well this shit was waterproof because she was up there sobbing still looks stunning <laughs> still looks stunning and all this stuff so girl whoever your makeup artist size. is yeah huh i bet you it's the one, one size, size spray yeah, yeah patrick star oh my god all right next up we have emily blunt okay the dress casey was telling me that apparently this is a new thing in fashion where the straps are structured to not touch the shoulders so it looks like the those she's wearing armor that she sits down and it pushes up or like what are the remember the old school things that you used to take like the paper dolls and like put the clothes <sighs> over and like bend the tabs over paper doll the, yes it's very paper doll clothes it's milk touch the fashion change your life it won't it won't it won't girl it won't because i saw her sitting because i'm not kidding when i saw her at the oscars she i didn't see her on the red carpet i saw her sitting and when I saw the shot of her, I thought it was just the structure of the dress was the like that the straps were firm. <laughs> and I thought it was like, you know, when you're Riding wearing something up. like that and you sit and it pushes yeah. up like a Halloween costume. Yeah. I thought it was not supposed to be like that. But apparently this is like I intentional. And I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that either. I mean, it's unfortunate too, because I like the dress. Yeah. I like the jewelry choices. I like everything else. Yeah. But the straps, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So we're on uh, this profile shot of her looking over oh her God, shoulder. The straps are comical. Girl, the straps. I, I could stick a whole hand through there. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to see, like, if she was too drunk at a club and I'm her friend, I'm just going to take her. <laughs> I'm going to put her, her in and be like, get out. Come on. We're going in the Uber. Girl, like, you're going to get that hooked on a on a coat hook. Yeah. like She's going to get hooked on phonics. Girl. And, okay, the biggest thing. And Kate, and you okay. know it's bad when Casey points it out. And it doesn't even look as bad as it did mm -hmm. in the telecast. Mama the hair was frizz. Bird's nest. I don't know why. This hairstylist, it had to be. It, it's too messy to not be intentional. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, because it literally looked even for, especially that she's blonde. When she was on stage and the light was catching all of the blonde, it was just, I mean, it was chaos. Like. It doesn't, yeah. Like, I don't know. There's something about it. Even that the back. Look at that girl. <sighs> look at that back when you're doing it up to like that. You girl, better hairspray spray that and up then you and better, what? But yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And then the makeup. I love the lip. Yes. I love this like pink lemonade. Lip. Yes. Um, yeah. The blush is gorgeous. And it's kind of funny because it is very similar. <laughs> the double necklace, the dress, this makeup is what I want for Charlize Theron. Yeah. Exactly what we said. We I wanted either said, the lip or the blush dialed up. The, the lip and the blush it. are dialed up. And I love this makeup. I yeah. Mean, this is this makeup is really gorgeous. It's the very blush beautiful. Looks great. Her skin looks fresh and dewy. And you the see the difference. Healthy. I got to look at before I say it. Okay, God, I'm good. Look at what dialing up her lip, bringing a little bit more color. Look at what this does to her eyes versus Charlize Theron. Yeah. And they have very similar. Yes. Very, I mean, even the double necklace on her. Yeah, it's literally the, yes. It's literally the, uh, who Such wore a it better. Such a similar color story, yeah. exactly. And um, it just dialing up that lip and the blush slightly, it's making her eyes look this is, so blue. It's like, fantastic. It ju and that's what we mean about just like, when we say safe as a bad thing, because it's like Charlize Theron and Ariana Grande. It's mm -hmm. not that the application wasn't done well. It's like what I always say in interior design, white, all white, is not a design style no. in a house. No. Having white marble, white tile, white cabinets, white furniture is not a design style. It is quite literally the absence of a choice. Yeah. It is the absence of a design choice. So you're just whiting everything. That's what safe makeup is. It's the absence of a choice. Yeah. You're not, it's saying to me, I either don't want to, or as the artist, I'm too afraid to take a risk that might not work. So we're just right. gonna do, if you were birthed out of an egg with perfect skin, perfect lashes, and a, and a little, like, pinch, that's what your makeup is. It's not doing anything. And it's like when you take the littlest bit of a risk, look at how it lends itself Which, to 
her eye color coming out and the it just word risk and this is unfortunate that this is essentially a risk well you know what's so funny it's like i i was almost thinking of it as we've been talking because it, now that we we've done a couple uh makeup polices this this award season i'm almost really realizing that this truly is oscar makeup like everyone just wants clean exactly everyone just wants very elegant makeup Uh and there's not gonna be Dua Lipa at the Grammys or Miley at the Grammys it's not gonna be the same which we were toying around with as well let us know we didn't know if this was gonna be our like finale to award season because we did say we were gonna do the SAGs we got behind and we wanted to do the Oscars because it's gonna be more relevant we do have the SAG awards as well so let us know down below if maybe I'll do a community post poll on YouTube as well if you want the SAG awards and all also, the Vanity Fair after party, yes. Mama. Some of these girls, they swapped the dress, swapped the makeup, and it was so it also Lock and then, the doors, <laughs> lower the blinds. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> it, it gives us the opportunity to not only maybe look at some people who weren't at the ceremony, yeah. but also people who were at the ceremony and tweak their makeup. Mm. It's a great way to say, like, oh my God, look at this almost like day and night aspect so sound off if you want more makeup polices because you know uh, irrelevant to the time it came out because we, we are sitting on a couple so but i think that's uh, that's an oscar yeah. symptom is just everyone wants elegance like yeah and i'm tired <gasps> okay next up we have two-time academy award winner emma stone emma stone <laughs> i this was a bit of an upset because everyone thought uh oh gosh forgive me her name in killers of the flower moon lily damn the actress from killers of the flower moon she has her and emma stone have kind of been battling it out everyone really thought it was going to go lily and it went to emma stone i haven't seen either film so i really can't weigh in on it but i just the only thing i can really react to her acceptance speech was amazing. she was gooped she yeah. did not think she was going to win the dress malfunction in the back, like it was so thing, Jessica Lang running after Jessica her. Jessica Lang like, trying to run after her yeah. and do it. Like that's and I love when the Oscars do or any award show does that style. Like this year at the Oscars for the acting categories, they had five previous winners in that category, like come revealed, walked up together, the drama, the yeah. conflama, and then each one spoke about a nominee. And it was so that's the cool thing. I don't want Jimmy Kimmel's bits. His little, little comedy bits. Cut it. No one cares enough with the the like the host. Just like, you know, like Hong Kong, I'm a clown. Like enough. Like it's not, especially at the Oscars. Like we're there. I want to see old winners. I want to see Jessica Lang on that stage every year. Like, yeah. And even still, it was like the Governor's Award, which was like honorary Oscars, which they used to at least acknowledge during the ceremony, which went to Angela Bassett this year. Didn't didn't acknowledge it, didn't talk about it. Like, why wasn't Angela Bassett there? Always serving looks. Like, give me the actors and the industry. I don't care about the stupid jokes. So that was super cool to see all those actresses on with her. Um, And you got to watch her acceptance speech. It was, like, so adorable. Now diving into the makeup. Okay, so now this peach lip is overdone. <laughs> give your analysis, and then okay. I'll tell you who did it. I think the peach lip is way overdone. Okay. I think if we're going to make, especially with the rest of her makeup. Yes. I would have just liked to see this maybe softened a little bit uh the smokier liner and everything with the eyes that i actually really enjoy Mm -hmm. because it gives her eyes a little bit of structure and softness yes complexion stunning the brows the brows i want to see a touch a little messy a a touch more structure beautifully matched to the hair beautifully because she's still i mean embracing the red but she went almost more brownish red and i'm happy that the brows are that perfect auburn brown yeah Yeah. and i just i mean honestly yeah i think the lip is just a little it's so funny that this lip is the choice for the night it seems like these like peachy pinks i do like it on her i love this color i just want to see maybe a little just a little it's too much of just it's it <laughs> from wall to wall. Yeah. Like, floor to ceiling, <laughs> wall to wall. Peach. Yes. Like that should have almost yeah. been the middle color. I need an, a lip liner to be a hair darker and then the inside to and be a hair brighter. Peach. It's one shade. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's mama. Sherwin Williams of that color, like from like left to right, top peach to bottom. sorbet just rolled on. Yeah. Yeah. And they said, get out. You know who did the makeup? Charlotte Tilbury. So you know, Mama, that is what's that pillow talk two? 
all of the <laughs> Pillow Talk 4. Pillow Talk Peach. <laughs> yeah. But- Peach Gasm. <laughs> Peach Gasm. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I will say as well, bold choice for such a naked lower lash line. But yeah, you know what, Mama? It, it works. This is the power we always say about lower lash lines. And Emma Stone, by no means, I don't even know. She's got a, what is she, in her 30s? But it, it, let this speak volumes of what we're always talking about, about on, like, mature skin. Maybe if we do talk about someone with mature skin, et cetera, the power of a clean lower lash line yeah. to lift. It's enhancing the cat eyes of yeah. the liner and the lashes because the bottom is so clean if we added stuff to the bottom it's going to round out her eyes which she has very big round eyes already so this really was the move it's like so stunning yeah this is the cleanness of it but yeah Yeah. you're right the lip is off and the brows could use a little cleaning up but yeah yeah, the skin man this is gorgeous the skin you also said the tiffany's necklace Girl. What is that about the Tiffany's? Have you, have you seen this? Is not okay. So it's been on a bunch of other people. Ariana Gaga. Grande, yeah. Ariana Grande wore it at the Oscars. So if you go back and look at her yeah. photo, she's wearing Tiffany's. Emma Stone is wearing Tiffany's, and it's just something about Tiffany's jewelry is so like clunky, chunky, big I know. jewels with that urine yellow stone. Oh, when Gaga wore that one, the, I know the. Gaga and Beyonce both wore that necklace. And I just, I don't know. It's, yes, it's, I just feel like. Tiffany's he, jewelry is just like, mama. I know. I don't get, get it. Is, and listen, I'm not a jewelry person, but you guys let it, is, do people, is Tiffany's like an elite? Yes. You can buy baby rattles there. Like, I didn't think yeah. Tiffany's was like. Oh, Tiffany's Cartier, like, you know what yeah, I mean? no, Tiffany's is like. Really? The one mama. I don't, Okay. Yeah. I remember like the spoiled girls in my high school used to get stuff from Tiffany. So that's Same. why I was like, well, girl, so that's why I was like, was I don't know. Little, all right. I'm this is say the some, Abercrombie and Fitch of the gonna, jewelry yeah, world. Yeah, because I'm going <laughs> to say something a little controversial. The the silver Tiffany thing with the heart, every trashy person <laughs> I knew in high school yeah. had one of them and they were tarnished. They were ugly. <laughs> tarnished. They, were di- they were disgusting. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, mama, go get a little jewelry polish and clean her up. Know, Soak her for five <laughs> minutes because it's disgusting. And they I could wore smell the cigarettes <laughs> on your bracelet, and it shouldn't happen. It was 2007. They were wearing that <laughs> necklace with Uggs. And then with the, the Playboy bunny, the self-tanner <sighs> that they would peel off and had that. With yoga pants and wet. Fresh and clean Victoria's <sighs> Secret spray all Cucumber over Cucumber spray from Love Victoria Spell. Bath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and snow-stained Uggs. Uggs that were <laughs> bent inwards like this. <laughs> Girl, I hate 2000s fashion, man. We really got the short end of the stick. Oh, my God. All right. Next up, we have Florence Pugh. Uh, Okay, so this dress is the same as Emily Blunt's with the the shoulder no touchy. (laughs) Shoulder no touch. I, um... But I will say I like this dress better than Emily Blunt's. Yes. A little bit more. Because you know why? What did I say before? And I didn't even see Florence Pugh. This was not in my head. What did I say about the straps with Emily Blunt? Armor. armor. <laughs> and this is, it, it makes a little more sense to me because it it's looks giving like armor. armor. So it looks a little bit more, I don't know, like that element of even though, okay, okay, hold on. We zoomed in. I take it back because the bodice is armor, but then that I wish that the material of the strap was metallic like or this outfit looks like it belongs in a sexy scene of game of thrones <laughs> totally. i'm not I i've know. never seen game of thrones me but neither. this is what i uh, when they're getting sexy in that <laughs> show like i've heard i would picture this is what's going on yeah yeah with a snake necklace and a sexy strap that doesn't touch do i love i love i think i love that snake necklace i want it i don't with like this, snakes but i, I want hate that. snakes as i have a snake earring in. yeah yeah i love that i don't know it's and cool you know what bitch oh and this listen this like rhinestone i don't i don't do it like top to, it's like yes all those big stones i like yeah this. and i also this hair. am not gonna give myself credit that i'm good enough to to compare it but this is the blonde i always go for yeah which i'm looking at you and we just it's pretty close like that it's this cool ashy blonde but not gray 
as light as you can go of a blonde where it still has hints of warmth, but then hints of really cool highlights. And her makeup, I'm is, sorry. I'm like, I... Girl, it's unbelievable. Well, first of all, God. Florence Pugh is stunning to me. Okay. I don't know. And, and maybe that's just like, my but God, girl. You know what it is? I, and I don't know. Florence Pugh, ever since she kind of came on the scene, because I really feel like she did like burst onto the scene. Like it kind of out of nowhere. Did mm-hmm. she become this with Midsummer? Did she become this like, oh my, okay, this isn't one to watch kind of a thing and i don't know some of you might make fun of me for this but i find her to be i don't know how to put it i think she's gorgeous but she, there's something very unique about her beauty compared I understand what you're do you saying. know what i'm trying to say by that like and i don't know what it is i don't know what her background is i don't know what her ethnicity is but there's something going on here where like i don't know i could see her her I lineage like yeah the the mountains of the alps like you know dutch she's very like, there's something it's in not her, cookie cutter she's it's not giving, cookie cutter beauty no yeah she looks very stunning and honestly because this hairstyle on anybody where it's kind of like that swept like oh girl almost undone but this works which you know how we her. feel about a wet wig yeah which, mama, and i don't we, know and i have to say because this, this almost looks greasy greasy but in the best way the best way possible girl with those finger marks holding yeah. that up i just am I love upset because it's also like toss, it's it's this it's uh, what it's a little that it's what uh what <laughs> it's yeah it's yeah. a little it's a little like uh, like a little that you know what i mean it's I, a little bit like if I could take this <laughs> off and hit you over the head yeah, with it, I it's would. It's a little. It's effortless. Be- it's effort. Yeah. It looks like she just. Oh, it's time to leave. Like that's yeah, what the hair is giving, and, and the, the hair and the oh, the makeup especially the makeup, because girl. the warmth in the eye, the warmth in the blush, and the tone of the lip all harmonize perfectly. Yes. The lashes are perfect. The liner is perfect. The under eye is perfect. Every single thing about this, saturation everywhere. I have no notes. Which, if she doesn't have lip filler, she can go to hell. I think she does. And, uh, right? I mean, wow. Yeah. Like, I know. Perfect. Though, oh. I mean, the way that that lip is perfectly lined and, and you, saturated. That is a liquid lip, mama. That Gorgeous. is a circa, like, that is a KBD liquid lip. And that's Original why. Original Lolita <laughs> liquid lip. Yeah. Do not say that, Lolita in my house. Yeah. <laughs> like, do not say KBD Lolita. I want to like, go. I want to go find my Lolita. I Cement. Think I threw it out. It Cement. Was, those that KVD color. liquid lips, girl. It's disgusting. Um, this was the makeup I was wearing. Because you, do you remember when Kylie Jenner's, like, that rosewood lip was so popular that she yes. was always wearing? <laughs> Don't say this, rosewood to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Laura Mercier rosewood, the liquid lips that never dried down and would always yes. smudge. Even um, Burberry had a rosewood. Everyone yeah. rosewood, rosewood, rosewood. rosewood. Should it be called rosewood. flaccid rose. That's yeah. what I had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fucking, ugh. Yeah. Um, and I will say everything is, is so slightly s- warmer. I literally it's was stunning. I would have worn this makeup in like 2016 as Girl. a natural. I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is how I wanted to feel every. This is how I want to feel Girl. now. And can I just oh my ta- God. look at that? The concealer application. Oh, yeah, I know. That triangle of light. If you want to, st- this is mm. borderline like the cleanness of this, the nose contour. Yep. This is borderline like Kevin Aquan makeup theory. Yeah. Where do I contour? Where do I highlight? Why am I old? Why am I fat? Like, it's like that <laughs> level of like, <laughs> like why am I old? Why, why am, am I fat? fat? Like, it's that version of it because the oh, technical application of this mama. is so perfect. I love the, the lifted this. blush all the way up oh. here. It and is, the lift in the eye because look at where mid crease oh, that know. warmth starts and wraps to the under eye. Girl. And the saturation is buffed and diffused under the eye but really anchoring down i know the outer half of her eye with this this cut wing this martini glass <laughs> wing Ooh. yes the lashes are perfect the lashes are gorgeous i almost wish we could see her eyes closed because i know something's on that lid this makeup artist was too good to have that as an afterthought and you can tell oh yeah okay i think it's just like a champagne gorgeous wow wow I wow wow stunning absolutely love it All right, next up we have Miss Jennifer Lawrence. I think it's a very interesting dress choice for the Oscars, but I love it. I really like this. You're not taking it? (laughs) I wish, I don't know, this photo of it, I don't know. It's just like giving me spotter and lantern fly. Um, I don't know what that is. A spotter? A spotted lantern. Oh, a spotted. Lantern flies? 
Girl, like the a things glow? That, no, the lantern. Am I? Lantern flies. Like the ones that were at like, nighttime light no, up. That's a lightning bug. Firefly. That's what we, I used to call it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The a spot- lantern fly? Spotted, spotted lantern flies. The ones that were like invading the US. The spotted ones that, that you had to kill them in the at my them. apartment. Yes. Ever, okay. Oh yeah, girl. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They would like land on your face. The one I got like... infested with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know what you're saying. Girl, yes. it's giving spotted lantern fly, and I'm just like, I don't know. I I agree with you, but you know what it is. And again, maybe it was because I saw her. She was part of the five women, the leading actress yeah. winners that eventually gave it to. Oh, you saw it. Yeah. Okay, so with to Emma Stone, there was something about seeing it on the uh, stage that I don't know. It wasn't with the other women who all look stunning. There was something where it still had the same amount of elegance as them, but it felt very, it was a cozy choice. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It was like a, a little bit of like a... And maybe this pattern like trypophobia <laughs> yes like i'm getting a little like the yeah. fear of holes looking at it like <laughs> yeah mama i don't know i wish the pattern was almost bigger yeah and more importantly the yes. hair the makeup the ma- the hair i love the hair i love this makeup stunning stunning i mean i absolutely love the lip choice on her the yeah. eyes the brows are so the brows yes the saturation in the crease to really define the brows sorry that just it was, yeah. <laughs> it was an aftershock yeah. i really focused yeah, you the really brows. look at those brows mama the texture is Holy stunning shit. the brows are just so successful here wow because you could tell they're cleaned up but not with concealer yes they're yes. just clean application brows yeah um the eyeliner i mean talk about this is the level of eyeliner that I, I need on people. <laughs> yeah. When I say, like, I need them to have more liner. <laughs> yeah. And especially with her... Um, She's got very hooded eyes. Yeah. And I will say, I almost think this eyeliner was a choice on purpose because of the dress. To me, the focus of this look is the eyeliner. Yeah. That's a agreed. big... That's a thick... And I love it. Line. And I love it with that yeah. black and white dress. And I love this lip color with it too. I yeah. do. And here's the thing. I do want a little more blush, but Agreed. not but not much more. The brush with nothing else on it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking, I need a whisper up of here, that up, up by here. the temple. You're, re- you're <laughs> in my head. Because it's too much here. It's and she too already much going has a round here. face. I need her We need it up here. In the temple area, mm-hmm. like that warm pinky peach blush to match this lip. I mean, this artist killed it, and she pulls this off so well with this heavy liner. Yes. Love this. All right, next up, Laverne Cox. This dress is everything. I love it. I would I wear this in five seconds. This, I mean, this Holy whole... shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. She looks the unbelievable. Dress. Yeah. The hair with this. The hair is amazing. Perfection. And I just got to say it right now. What a step up from the Golden Globes. That's why I've been intentional. Even with the SAG Awards, if we end up doing those, I picked her as well because I wanted us to be able to all see Mama. the evolution from the one where I redid it. I will it. say this necklace is a choice. But maybe this necklace means something to her because it almost looks like it's a... Uh, to me, I don't know why this necklace gives me like family heirloom. <laughs> okay. It so was Nana's. Like, yeah. It, it was like this necklace almost doesn't fit with how big yeah. and elegant everything is. And then this teeny tiny little necklace. Yeah. I think it does need a necklace, but you're right. It might, it's, if it's, if there's no sentimental value, I don't know if it was exactly the right choice. Yeah. Um, the hair is exquisite. This is Amazing. like, I want a baby version of this for Ariana Grande. This is what I want. Yeah. I wanted that. Like if lower this about two inches down, that's what I would have loved on Ariana. Give yeah. me a little drama. Give me a little height. I have a question for you. Yes. Really fast. Cause I can't get this now out of my head now that I've seen it. What are these? The more, you know, earrings. <sighs> America. Yes. The they reading, look like, yes. Reading it, rainbow. It's 4th of July. And it's, I, you know what it you is? Know. I love the, the top of it that fans up. Mm-hmm. I don't know if a star was the move. Because it's giving, it's now taking this dress that was giving almost like warrior, kind of like just like uh, otherworldly goddess. It's to making Woman. it into, patri- yeah, costume. It, it looks costume to, to me. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the stars. Captain Especially America <laughs> and this is Captain America and Wonder Woman had a baby. And she's said, playing, proud. she's playing like in a Marvel movie. They go to headquarters and it's like the top woman 
at the thing who like everyone's afraid of this is what it's given because yeah. of those stars i agree with yeah. you the makeup is such a step breathtaking up. again okay trend alert with this peachy pink lip i know girl this know. was really a hit and i love it i love it i'm into this hello spring <laughs> yes yeah it almost is a little yeah. bit of like dipping the toe into spring and yeah. i love that and i love that maybe this is truly like the pantone color of the year the peach fuzz yes it's not quite the peach fuzz color but that peach pink lip yeah coming into everybody's look i love this on her i the love the blush the blush is stunning perfect. with the lip is perfectly placed um, we have more lift. Yeah, I love. I don't want to brag. Yeah, this is very close to what I did on to her. the makeup that girl you did on black and the waterline. Yeah. She needs that because of her the you. size of her eyes. They cleaned up the under eye. <gasps> we cleaned up the under eye. We lifted the blush and the we brows cleaned are up softer. the brows. <laughs> yes. Okay. Are who listens to this pod? I know because this is perfect. This is cleaned it's up. It's perfect. I love it. She looks so good. This is such a huge win. The foundation is more neutral. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's what not warm. Happening? I know. Maybe you know what? But and the con this is a and, different and the, artist. the biggest thing is the contour is toned down. Remember the contrast? The highlights were too light and the darkness oh, was too dark. I know, girl. And that is my sleep paralysis demon. It's so well balanced. That makeup haunts me. I know. It's and this so is so well balanced. Yeah, honestly, I think she hired a different makeup artist this I time know. around and Stunning. Glad you did. Because you look stunning. Yeah. This makeup is such a huge win. All right. Now we have a Rita Moreno. Okay. This is like work. When you're, she's almost like 100. You can wear whatever you want. And this is a serve. Like, go for it, girl. I like, love it. I mean, do it. With I the hair, it, everything. Yeah. I think it closes her off a little yeah. bit. But I'm kind of like, oh, with her hair and oh. this. I, I love it. That's what I mean. There's something about like when you reach this age, you could literally like this, that neck thing could be twice as big. Yeah. And she walks on stage just like, yeah, they and have I the mean, power to own it. This makeup is so neutral. Okay. <laughs> so the reason I included this one, because obviously we're always talking about mature skin, we'll be hard pressed to find someone of her age or older. And why I picked this was because I actually think the application of it of everything on her, let's forget about colors because there isn't any. <laughs> the application is great. Application is wonderful. Girl, and you know what my favorite thing about this is? What do I always say about especially more mature women of this age? As we age, our lid goes up. You better tight line underneath oh, the yeah. lashes. And mama, that whole line, black. It is, there's no, and nothing aggravates me more, more than when I see older women with that black liner on the lid and then the strip of white skin, oh, the strip yeah, of pale on. skin. So the, the eyeliner, the under stunning. eyes, the crease, the brightness on the inside, the foundation, stunning. However, the lip, the blush, and the eyes look as though I made this black and white. It is so washed out and the so gray. Filter. It's so gray yeah, yeah i it's just don't it, like um, there's no color in her face i don't want peach life yeah like, I don't want, no i don't want peach i need it cool tone i, I need, yeah i need the right shade of like a i'm almost feeling like more raspberry than yes, pink yes because i think sometimes pale pinks on more mature women can look a little forced absolutely i want like a i want an elegant raspberry lip Yes. With a, a matching kind of blush, like a Dolce Vita from NARS. I know. Oh. Dolce Vita blush from NARS. Yes. And give me that, like, raspberry. Yeah, get, girl, tone, give me a berry. Ooh. This tone of lip, this, uh, or this, I'm going to say this, this intensity color, yeah. but turn this raspberry. Girl, yeah. would be stunning, I stunning know. Stunning on her. With, and like, the right blush, like the with Dolce the, Vita. It, and you're right, Dolce Vita, because Dolce Vita on even this complexion, it gives, it harkens to a natural flush to yeah, the skin. Yeah, because it's a little beigey with that pinky brown. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yep. it just, this all looks too washed out. Yeah, because then the eyes, I would even... Keep, the eyes the, might be fine. I with, would keep this, but then even tuck a little Dolce Vita blush right underneath that crease yes. to warm her up. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the application is flawless, but the yeah. color choice, it is yeah. so washed out. And the out. brows, I would, I like the color choice of the brows, so it's not dark on her. Yes. But I would... It's a little... Softly clean patchy. up. Yeah, the application, I would just... Ooh, yeah. Tweaky, tweaky, tweaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like it looks like we use powder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a powder brow. Yeah. 
All right. Now I had to include Mr. Ken. So we have uh, Ryan Gosling. I love the suit. Very nice. Suit's cool. Suit's very cool. And the reason I pulled him is because he performed. I think this is for men's makeup. You know they had Ms. Ms. Gosling painted because he was performing. He did the whole thing. She's got a little blush. Oh, she's got rouge. She's got a gloss, honey. (laughs) She, okay. I don't know if that's where we should have put the blush because he does have a little bit of, um, okay, I'm going to say it. And I know y'all going to get mad at me. No, some of you might. The rest of you get it. I Can I I say it? (laughs) Yes. Filler. I hate speculating about work. Because I just think it's tacky. But they put, however, but they're putting blush. <laughs> I'm going to speculate on about a work. fuller cheek, and I'm saying a fuller cheek because it looks like he definitely has filler yeah. in the cheek area to give volume. But they put the blush under here like Santa Claus, <laughs> Lana, like Mama, honey, uh, honey, yeah. darling. <laughs> he looks like he's coming in my yeah, house with his sack. Yeah, and it's making him look like he's if gonna I unload his sack of girl, presents for me under my tree. Girl, if I if I photoshopped an elf hat on him, like it, and you know why? The, he's the, so hot, though. I, I don't know, care. I know. You can but, look however you want. <laughs> but you know why this, like the cheeks, so like round these apple cheeks, like this. It's making all of his features, his lips and his eyes look like this. Can like I this. say something too? He it did, looks like everything's getting like he drunk. I feel like he didn't look like this in he the looks Barbie movie. Different. I know. He looked and that, like he had he had cosmeceuticals on for that film. Absolutely. Of course, because you, you got to look plastic. But tiara. that's why that's what I'm saying about like it looks like we got some injectables. And I, can I say put a little lip liner on? Her. <laughs> if you're gonna go there, go, <laughs> there. go there. Yeah. But the Mama. natural from Lancome. Uh, little, totally. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, okay, yeah, the skin is stunning. The skin yeah. is perfect. It's the blush, mama, is too, is on those, <laughs> Wait. like, cheeks. Like, but am I right? Like, those puff, the cheeks yeah. are making his features look so small. Yeah, like, he look As though I facetuned, grabbed the center, and shrunk his everything. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This makeup is I don't very, know, girl, yeah. If we're trying to make it look natural, I could see it too much. Okay, bitch. Mm. <laughs> Last but not least. Yep. Miss Zendaya. When does she not look good? Girl, it's like, because let me tell you something. Miss Zendaya is not out here looking the way she does, dressing the way she does, serving the way she does, without equal, if not more, amounts of talent. And it's kind of aggravating. (laughs) She can sing like nobody's fucking business. The acting is unbelievable. Mark my words. Some of you might fight me on this. Watching her in Euphoria like season two, especially she's on par to be like the next Meryl Streep. Like the, the organicness in which she acts is frightening sometimes. Yeah. And then to look like this, like it, like Issa Rae said in that interview, do you just wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, wow, these other bitches don't even have a chance like, yeah. because it's they unbelievable. Don't. Like the dress. I mean, who else could pull off this golden girls, Miami, Miami. It's her dress is this yeah. set. <laughs> now yeah. like oh. and, which i'm it makes i'm it's bringing in the old set i love it like and yeah. that's what i mean with that emerald peek out on like the bodice and then this hair and this makeup mama the jewelry okay the brows immediately <sighs> the brows could kill someone in a good way and get away with it <laughs> The inner corner it's highlight, the okay. liner, the lash, this lip color, and the blush harmony. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to throw up. I it ju- is I the quit. Mo- Look at that nose contour, girl. That is a drag race, bone thin. Magnolia I can't Crawford. breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe out of that nose. Yeah. But it is so well blended. And you know what the difference is? Because uh, honestly, the other one that I think is like killing it for me was Florence Pugh Mm -hmm. is on par with this. But you know what I have to say about Zendaya? And this is what it is about Zendaya that is so captivating to me where like I'm saying her beauty to me and listen, me saying I think Zendaya is the most beautiful woman in the world. It's not a hot take. Like, no, of course. But what I'm, what I have to specify is like Zendaya to me, the beauty is like, it's like Sophia Loren level where you have this makeup that is arguably just as well done as Florence Pugh's was, mm-hmm. but Florence Pugh looks her age with that on. She looked like a gorgeous, I don't know how old she is, 33-year-old woman. 
something about Zendaya. It's the way she carries herself, the choices she makes with the fashion and the hair, et cetera. If I turn this black and white and told you this was someone on a red carpet in 1945, you'd believe me. I'm going to punch you because I was just about to say with the hairstyle. And you know what I'm saying? The jewelry and everything. It's, and her beauty has, it's timeless. You're where, timeless <laughs> to me. Well, it's been nice. <laughs> it's, you know what I mean? Like Florence no, Pugh really is. looks like someone of this era. Where, where this Zendaya, is timeless. It's, it's like difficult to look at at times because it is, she is so... It, it transcends, like I'm saying about the Sophia Loren reference, it's just on a different planet. Yeah. It, I mean, this is truly timeless, timeless makeup. And yes. I really like, yeah, I would I would be afraid to meet her if she looked like this because I would be like, I can't look at you. You're too pretty. Oh, no. Uh, I, this makeup I would is even, stunning. I want to meet her because I think Zendaya is whatever, but uh, like my favorite, it, it, she just is, I don't know, she's so exciting to me. She's like, of she, she gives me hope that like the next generation of millennial movie stars and actors, et cetera, oh, she will carry be... themselves with the caliber of uh, your Angela Bassett's and Meryl Streep's and she Viola will. Davis's. 1,000%. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, she's going yeah. to be the Viola Davis of our generation. Like, and I think, like, that caliber of acting, and I just, the way she carries herself, it's on a different level. Agreed. Um, I would just be like, you're the most beautiful woman in the world. And I'm sure she's been told yeah. that, but it's, not, I would, it's beyond that. It's the way she yeah. carries herself and her skill. And fucking euphoria. No makeup. She's playing a teenager. No makeup. Looks like a teenager. Yeah. And then can look like this the next moment. And is playing a, a makeupless, going through withdrawal, drug addict. It's on a different level. Now, speaking to the makeup super quickly, because it's literally flawless. What I think, why she edges out Florence Pugh, brows. And 100%. the lip has dimension. Where yeah. Florence Pugh had one... Lolita liquid lipstick and yeah. there was no dimension and where this has that perfect anchor of slightly darker going into a slightly brighter yeah inner Agreed. lip yeah. yeah this is my favorite of the night easily I mean look at that easily it's unbelievable my favorite, from head to toe my favorite look of the night it's flawless whoever does her makeup is really oh and look at that this has that rolled thing and I don't I didn't even notice <gasps> Wow. Because it's also, and I think the dimension in the print where it, it just, you can't wear a white dress with a rolled, because it looks like a bed sheet. It looks like us Toga. little f making a, a dress in our rooms out of our sheet when we were yeah. little. Like, that's what it gives. Where, like, this is different. Like I loved doing I mean, Of course, of course. Um, but, yeah, yeah, no, this is really, from head to toe, this is per this is by far my favorite look of the With the, the slit. Night. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. All right, so that is another episode of Beautiful and Bothered. We hope you enjoyed that. So comment down below which one of these looks was your favorite. Zendaya was by far I know, girl. my favorite look. That makeup, I I need to look up who did our makeup. Absolutely. Um, I got to give it, yeah, I think the best of amazing. the night, Zendaya, Florence Pugh. Zendaya really, she really, really did it for me. So I am like fully, yeah. Emily Blunt and Devon Joy uh, Randolph. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, definitely comment down below uh, who was your favorite of the night. And if you want to see the SAG Sags Awards. And the Vanity Fair. And the Vanity Fair after party, I started seeing some of those looks and I was like, I was getting excited. Stop. Tell people what your lip is because we can't answer it in the comments. So my We have lip, to remember to start doing that. My lip. lip. So my lip is actually weird. Oh, weird. weird. So it's the Moira Purple Retractable Eyeliner mm -hmm. in purple i think purple. it's just called yeah. and then the 80s me give beauty lipstick traditional lipstick yeah 80s me it's like a purple raspberry and then it's the she glam click up stick clicky sticky lipstick click. glossy bomb in spring fever ew <laughs> yeah. Um, so that is, yeah, the trio of the lip yeah. today. And I am just all into these lip reveals as you all have now. <laughs> Girl, them. So I know. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Beautiful and Bothered. Make sure you subscribe to the official YouTube channel to get your video episodes one day early. And make sure you subscribe to our, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to Spotify and Apple Podcasts where you can get your episodes on the normal fucking day and <laughs> streams. <laughs> Perfect. That works. Oh my god, and make sure you leave us a five-star review because that really helps on those platforms. Um, what else, girl? I think wherever you it. are, we, we hope, hope you're you are happy, happy, safe, and healthy. And, healthy. and remember, remember, you are beautiful. Are beautiful. Ah! That was weird. <laughs> I hope you like the new set. See you next week. <laughs>
Not the car alarm. <laughs> not the car alarm. <laughs> car alarm. <laughs> oh, not the car alarm. <laughs> car alarm. Out of everyone here, who would be the car alarm? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it be my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad these are still recording. This is so, oh, honey, girl. it's tired. Honey, sweetie baby toots. It's played out. Girl, how do you not? <sighs> I'm about to go outside and start screaming. Maybe yeah. that'll get their attention more. Yeah. Now the dog's barking. Yeah, get everybody going in the neighborhood. When you hear your family. <laughs> Oh my god, oh fucking mighty. I hope whoever it was, they feel like a foolish bitch. <laughs> <laughs>